Jesus. I just got back from Burning Man last night. A 10 day event for me because I went early and I was on the cleanup crew for my group. We were about 40 people. We had two geodesic domes and eight yurts. I'm up here on the crow's nest on the green home dome number two where we've sort of got a view of the burning man off in the distance. And uh, this is Wednesday, so the city is not as full as it's gonna be. Our across the street neighbors are running a smooch for hooch booth where they use a megaphone barking at passers-by and demand they stop to be kissed and served alcohol. It's an art party, it's a bacchanal, it's an electric light parade, it's lots of naked bodies, it's wonderful conversations in a very strange and difficult environment. No cell phones are ringing, no emails are arriving, no appointments are pressing. You know, you just have to decide, are you willing to miss the multi-orgasmic male workshop in order to, you know, have some time to sit around with your friends. But the pressing heat in the middle of the day means there is so much time spent sitting around. So I have a cold and a sore back. The sore back came from lifting lots of water jugs on the final days to make room in our U-Haul truck. <clears throat> but the cold I have comes from not really sleeping a lot. Some of that is extended psychedelic journeys into the night that kept me awake. And some of that is just, man, there's so much to see. The heat wakes you up and there's a pulsing, throbbing electric light show until sunrise. And then because of recent forest fires in the area, the sun rose in a red, brilliant crimson color. You're surrounded by natural beauty and human ingenuity and irreverent creativity and oppressive heat. And it was ju it's just such a fascinating soup. One of the greatest things about going to Burning Man this year is that I was in a camp of about 40 people maybe 10 or 12, it was their first time going to Burning Man. And you could just see their eyes widen for like a week as they watched the sort of human pageantry of wild weirdness stagger in front of them. And then they looked and realized they were a part of the pageant. And to see people drawn into that human creation of something weird for no good reason is powerful and fun. For me, going to Burning Man is a chance to have a little fun, shake my dusty legs, widen my mind with an experimental group of human researchers saying, what does it mean to live a good life? What does it mean to connect with other people? What does it mean to create a temporary refugee camp in the desert where everyone is a volunteer and the whole thing comes and goes in two months? It's pretty fun to be a part of a, an experiment that big. Hey.